everyone, I'm Pat Harvey. We begin with breaking news tonight, an emergency aboard a plane headed for Southern California. KCAL assignment editor Mike Rogers live at the desk with details. Mike, I'm so interested in this story because I flew that airline last week. Yeah, Pat, it's pretty scary. This was an Alaska flight. It took off out of Portland and it was headed down here to Ontario when something happened and the cabin depressurized. Now, once we were able to get some videos and photos of this, we saw that there was actually a hole in the side of the aircraft. You can hear the wind as those passengers were coming back in after that pilot declared an emergency landing. Clearly some issue where that portion of the wing or of the uh, of the side of the aircraft rather blew out. Now this is a 737 MAX 9. It's an aircraft that was just put into service in November of this year. Now in some configurations there is actually an emergency exit door right there. Sometimes they block that off so it's unclear exactly what blew off but you can see masks came out of the sky and I want you to listen to the moments that the pilot declared an emergency. Alaska or Seattle, Alaska. 1282, we just did press air to declare an emergency. We need to descend down to 10,000. A pretty scary moments there. You hear that breathing sounds difficult for that pilot because she too is wearing an oxygen mask as they continue to descend. They want to get down to 10,000 because that is at least where the air is somewhat safe enough to breathe uh, or you're able to breathe air at that altitude. Now I want to come to my computer here because I want to show you the path that it took. It took off out of Portland Airport and it came around to the south. The radar data here shows it got to about 16,000 feet. So we believe that is where this issue happened and then they began rapidly descending. I shouldn't say too rapidly, but safely descending down to an acceptable altitude before they turned around and headed back to Portland Airport. Moments ago, we got a statement from Alaska Airlines. I want to read you part of it. It says, quote, the safety of our guests and employees is always our primary priority. So while this type of occurrence is rare, our flight crew was trained and prepared to safely manage the situation. We are investigating what happened and we'll share more information as it becomes available. Meanwhile, Pat, we're hearing from everybody from Boeing who manufactures that plane, mm -hmm. who says they've got a safety team looking into what happened, FAA, NTSB. This this is going to be a lengthy investigation because clearly something like that should not happen on an aircraft. And especially not one that's that old. Or, yeah, just came out of service or into service in uh, November, Pat. Okay, and uh, big props to that crew. Yeah. Thanks so much, Mike.